couple of days ago at coffee, the guys and I got talking about a way to use rubber bands to power retracts. Well, I've lost about two days worth thinking about it, and I ended up coming up with an idea that I think will work. It is now about 1.30 in the morning, and I just finished my uh, proof of concept. There is a rubber band that naturally holds the wheels down, and I've got a second one right here that pulls them up, a second stronger one. So when I let go of this little pin here, that elastic band, that stronger elastic band lets go, and my wheels pop down. To put them back up, all I do is tighten up that stronger elastic band. I do need to help them up a little bit. My wheels are ready to go. To let them down again, all I have to do is trip this rubber band and away it goes. So once again, look a little closer. This top rubber band here. That is the one that tries to hold the wheels down. You know, that's why I let it go. It's pulling on right here. That's holding both wheels down. Same on the other side. This rubber band, this one's a stronger pull, and it holds them up. Now what I'm hoping to be able to do is put this on a rudder elevator throttle airplane and not have to use another channel for it. What I envision is setting up a way so that when you do full down elevator, the push route manages to push far enough that it would push on a little pin like this and let go of the rubber band. No, you wouldn't be able to do a nice scale flyby and slowly lower the gear. You'd have to climb, quickly hit low, down elevator, then your wheels are down in order to come down. This is the real Gary Ball, and sometimes I hate having ideas.